When I first started this project, I didn't really know if it was going to work out or not. Like, am I going to be begging for my old job back in a year or what? I mean, citizen salary is fine and wonderful and I'm getting by in the public housing, but with my instruments, I just, I, I want it so badly for this to be successful. So, introducing the permanent team, that's me, Kinovirus, and Tionabi. Everyone else comes and goes on a partial basis or is one-time commission work. We'll be debuting a performance of some many of the girls soon. I do most of the logistics for the group. Kina sings, writes, and Nana does choreo. Kina is starring as the stonemason, and Nana will be playing Yulia. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, at my last troupe, I had this crazy, insane director. She was all, like, nitpicking and hated everything we did. Then, the dance choreographer came up with this super cool moveset, and the director stole her notebook and changed the moves when she wasn't looking. Totally not cool. So then, they got into a fight, and the director wanted to fire the choreographer, but the stage manager stopped her. So, yeah. It's a lot of work being in this troupe, but this is a lot better than that was. Seminium Girls started as a retelling of the Cirrus and the Stonemason. It's a Zavlakik mainstay. It's always showing on some stage, but whenever I saw it as a child, I couldn't help but wonder, how did the Stonemason feel about Yulia leaving her? And why did Yulia choose to return? The original likes to say God guided her, and it's all about being where society needs you most, wherever that may be, at war, or at a flood, or at home, whatever. But I've always felt very strongly, and I know the rest of the troop feels the same, that, that Yulia must have realized that war and conquest wasn't actually spreading the love and light of God. If our way of doing things is really the best one, then why do we have to threaten people into accepting it? Have you asked her, Grace, how she feels about you portraying her like that? If she really felt strongly about my play, she could send me a season to desist before it even showed. But I haven't gotten one yet. I know Kina has been writing this for a long time, and when she first asked me to be Yulia, I was like, I mean, firstly, I was so honored to be portraying Arceris, but then I was like, hell yeah, I'll sing for Yulia. A lot of people have asked if I'm nervous to be portraying the literal daughter of God as a Svanic woman. Frankly, I don't really care if she approves or not though, because it's not about that. Everyone knows what Yulia looks like. What matters though, is Yulia is, first and foremost, culturally Svanic. She's one of us. And a one and a two and a three and strike. And one and a two and a three. We're all from Zablaki originally, but we came to Telethens because, quite frankly, the citizen salary is easier to get here. Zablaki still has plenty of czars with the old Nana, Nana. Anyway, we are definitely nervous that the audience here would not receive it so well, but you gotta start somewhere. Ooh, I'm so excited! Tavrina and I are actually stationed at the debut together. I am not attending tonight's festivities as the Inquisitor General. I'm just here for my brother. So why are you interviewing me? I'm a little nervous. There are so many people, and we don't have performances like this up north. We didn't have a lot of runway on Kina's past performance money, so it's been a lot of bargaining and a lot of calling in favors. My brother and his partners helped build the set and hooked us up with our musicians. One of my buddies learned just enough engineering in the Officer Academy to rig up our instruments to the stage. My younger sister got posters printed from God only knows where. And let's just say I'm incredibly grateful to the community. We are incredibly grateful to Senator Diakaeus Prefori for sponsoring our opening night and helping us to secure the space. We wouldn't have been able to get the costumes or venue without him. As the second senator of Telethens, it is my honor and privilege to introduce Telethenians to new, delightful artists of all kind. Kinavaris is a respected traditional Svanic opera singer and I am sure those chosen to work with her are equally talented. Zavlakia has held the unofficial title as Cultural Capital of the After Katoria for years, so limelighting one of their stars here will encourage further artistry here in Telethens, especially as we move into this new era of peace. What will I do if this doesn't work out? That's an 
excellent question. I don't know. What does anyone do when they can't attain their dreams? Try again, I guess. Yeah, if this doesn't blow up, I don't have a future backup plan. I don't have a plan B. I mean, like, I know that I'll be fine. If leaving Telethans and going back home has to happen, I'll let you know. Maybe I'll just get married and be a stay-at-home mom. So, I'll marry Rich. Kina has money. I'll marry her. I isn't that legal? So? Well, my father will likely send me a telegram ordering me to go back into the military. But everyone here has been working so hard. Nana just has the best attitude. Kina especially is so smart and talented. It's just another couple days now. I love everything we're doing here. They may have their doubts, but I know you all will love it. 